Welcome along to True Faith TV, the weekly Newcastle United magazine show. Just thought of that sure. this week. Yeah, yeah, love it. Three Newcastle United talking points, one of which won't be Newcastle yet again failing to win a must-win game. Charlotte, tell us about the first of our three talking points this week. Um, so this week, the first one that I want to talk about is Newcastle United mooted, don't know if it's actually going to happen, trip to Saudi Arabia. A uh, little training trip to a, a impossibly hot country um, on, I think, just after the Leeds game, because got like two weeks after the Leeds game of no games, uh, for some kind of team building, team bonding trip to Saudi Arabia. I don't... Is that... I just... Is that where teams often go <laughs> for team building and training? I think there's a couple of things here. First of all, it will be positive if this manager takes the team with him because the last time uh, one of our managers this season went away to a warm country during the season, mm. he didn't take the team. He no. went alone. That's right. So, um, yeah, it's probably, you know, I think it's, po- if it does happen, you know, Craig Ho- uh, Hope reported that, friend of True Faith in the Daily Mail. Yeah. Um, if it does happen, then it's obviously part of a wider strategy in that country yes. to build the club's image and all of that. Uh, the, that's where the owners are from. So, fine. Um, won't go down very well at The Guardian. <laughs> like, you know, the journalists there would talk about some of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what does. Um, but, you know, it's, it's lots of football clubs do it. You know, Barcelona do it. Um, you know, all of these big teams, Real Madrid, are jetting off to these countries, Qatar. Yeah. Maybe this is a plan by Eddie Howe to be like, right, we're really shit. Watford was fucking terrible. Um, what do good teams do? And it's, it's just big. a total coincidence that we're going to Saudi Arabia? Oh, it's nothing to do with the... It's Eddie's idea. It's <laughs> just Eddie's idea and nobody else's idea. I think it's really good PR... For Sa- in for in Saudi Arabia for Newcastle United and stuff, and it's just really bad PR for the entire rest of the world, <laughs> <laughs> given the things surrounding them. I also just think, like, is it a good place to be training? Is it? Is it too hot? Is that well, what that's saying? what I'm saying. It's too hot. These these players are used to Newcastle. <laughs> like, they don't get to go away. They sometimes go to Portugal. They haven't been away. I think they maybe went yeah. to Ireland. Yeah. They don't go to hot. They're not going to be able to deal with it. Paul Dummett's going to just be like, step off the plane and just be like, it's Burst too into hot. flames. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm going back on the plane. Yeah. Um, There's aircon on there. I am not doing this. Yeah, quite frankly, if we win a game of football after it, I'm, I'm game. Yeah, love and it. Get them there every weekend, every yeah, week. Yeah, maybe some some team talks from the PIF and some of the consequences for failure could be explained, but we're not going to that. Oh, God. But anything to win. Anything <laughs> to win. Mm, that's where we are. Yeah. It's getting dark. We'll move on to point number two now, Charlotte. Um, that is Rafa Benitez, formerly of this parish, yes. has been sacked by Everton in the most predictable sacking of the season. Correct quite comfortably. Um, what's your take on this now looming figure over our season and waiting in the wings, Rafa Benitez? Yeah, I just feel like before Eddie Howe and before Bruce even left, it was like, well, it was always, well, Rafa will come back if we get taken over. And he had links to them and all of that stuff. And then he took the Everton job, couldn't wait around forever. We didn't know when the takeover was going to happen. Clearly neither did the people involved. And... He took the Everton job. He doesn't walk away from jobs. We knew, okay, he's got a project there, a terrible one, and not backed at all by <laughs> their terrible owner. Um, he just loves a terrible owner, yeah, doesn't does he? He <laughs> gravitates towards them. Um, but now he's going to be, he's going to continually be linked with us, I'm sure, especially as our, if we had a good run of form, if we'd beaten Watford or whatever, he wouldn't be this looming figure, would he? But he is now. I think it's a case of... Um, if we lose a couple of games, then we, particularly if we don't win and win quickly, there is going to be that clamour for Rafa. You know, the the old bookmakers are going to stick him in as red hot favourite, all that kind of stuff, and it's just massively in the background. Who's that? What happened to Charlotte? <laughs> Rafa Benitez. Join you this evening. Um, hola. Oh, it didn't take long for this show to go <laughs> go off the rails. No, very good, very good from my co-host there. And um, that that was sound signed by signed by the real man. There he is, yeah. yeah. But the thing about him there is that is he going to just crop up now? Because he's going to be looking for a job. Yeah. What's he going to be up to? 
yeah, he's going to be, you know, he's going to be walking his dogs, um, like, like through St. James's Park on match day. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone knows that he's in the area. Yeah. He's going to turn up at, you know, on Instagram at the Angel of the North. Mm-hmm. He's going to turn up at Westgate again on Friday night and there's going to be lads playing football just like, what? He's going to be in Riyadh. <laughs> He's going to be in Riyadh on the 24th. Oh, you guys are here too? <laughs> what, what a coincidence. Um, yeah, he's gonna ma- he's gonna make it known that he is out of work and mm. and and willing to work and wants a project and wants, knows these players. He wants a project. Maybe these owners have too much money from though. You know, he enjoys going in, like you say, this is true. to a terrible, terrible situation. <laughs> One that he's in fact told he will fail. Like, we, why do we keep getting managers, Bruce and Rafa? And people are like, I told them not to take the job. Can we please be a football club where people are like, oh, good luck. What, what an opportunity yeah, for you. Yeah, Whereas yeah. like, normally it's like, don't go there. Are you yeah. mad? Yeah, you should not do this. Even people who support this club ring these managers and yeah. say, don't do this. Well, Rafa didn't, wasn't there a rumour that like Rafa had spoken to Arteta and was like, yeah. don't do uh, it. Yeah, and Patrick Vieira. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't go, Patrick. <laughs> We've got Bruce instead. You should have come. Yeah. But we'll see. I think we might, you know, we'll have this to revisit a lot like the Untrue Faith TV yes. if the team keep shitting the place out. Shitting the place yeah. out, that old phrase. <laughs> <laughs> favourite of mine. Another favourite of mine, Charlotte. Point mm. number three this week. Alan St. Maximin. Uh, we were at the is game. Is that how you say it? That's how he says it. And how I'll, is it? I'll, 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 I'll take his word for it. Okay. Well, I yeah, re- that's fair. I reckon he knows more than yeah. me. He and the Helios community. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they deserve more. <laughs> So this, we want to talk about ASM because we were at the game together. A lot of grumbles and groans at the game and on social media about ASM. Very interesting. You know, you come home from the match, you look at Twitter, um, and people are saying, fucking St. Maximan yeah. plays for himself. Yeah. Absolutely useless. And I, like, have to check we're talking at the same player because, like, he is the top scorer of this football club at the minute. He... The last two games scored both of our league goals. It's the reason we're still we've got a, a clawing <laughs> chance, really, of yeah. like not getting relegated. Although and that chance feels like it's slipping away, but he's the reason. Yeah, we're quite. He's he's the only one that looks like he can put the football in the net. Mm. The rest of them win. Callum Wilson's absence, so he must feel a certain sense of frustration. I don't know what you think, but like he, you know, he's, he's getting a lot of criticism at the minute. Should he be dropped? Should should yeah. he be an impact player? Yeah. You know, what, what's your take on, on the whole ASM situation? Well, we kind of went into it, didn't we, on the free pod about what, what we think should happen with him. But, I, I, you know, from his perspective, he must be, you're absolutely right, he must be good. Like, like get home, like, you've had your, getting your ice bath, um, and then think, oh, I'll have a look at my Twitter, because he's a prolific tweeter, and he's very good on, like, TikTok and all of that stuff. And then, and then everybody's like, this fucking lazy guy, like, you like, get him off. And he's like what the fuck <laughs> like how unfair is this and yeah i just i do feel a bit sorry for him you know he's doing he's, he's doing all the he's all the work on the pitch yeah okay his game wasn't great on uh saturday um but he scored the goal like you can't like he is the he, only he creative goal quite scoring. literally by himself as well yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, one, no one there. no one else is involved in that goal <laughs> Like, no assist. Just assist ASM, and then the assist was ASM. And the goal was ASM. Um, yeah, I just think he must be a bit gutted to read all of that. You know, aside from that, all the work he's doing for the Helios community, I think, you Crucial know, this work. man has enough enough on his plate. <laughs> yeah, I think I think his wife, um, you know, says to him as he walks through the door. Oh, good wife. Wife, husband. Yeah. Chat. Yeah. Um, hello, darling. Maybe, maybe, hello. Maybe John Joe's <laughs> wife's been round not watching the game together. Yeah. Thank it's God, because John Joe was terrible. Um, uh, you know, not the only one. And then um, he comes in and he's kind of doing this exaggerated, like, oh, my, my back, my back. And, and she's like, what's, what, what's, what, what's going on? Why is you, what, what did you hurt your back? And he's just like, the fucking weight of carrying those cunts. <laughs> Swear, big C bomb there. Ooh, sorry, I think it's the first of TFTV. Yeah, sorry YouTube, sorry, sorry to YouTube, and, and most sorry to the Helios community. Yeah, um, and he's just like fucking hell, like like you know Ryan Fraser doesn't get this shit. No one's <laughs> kicking off a fucking. Where's your goal, Ryan? Yeah, like no one's like Ryan Fraser lazy, like doesn't do anything. Like Ryan Fraser, ba- like basically doesn't play, like doesn't assist, doesn't score. Like he's like Sean Longstaff. No one's in at Sean Longstaff's Twitter. I just think, I think, I think TFTV, we can agree, Charlotte, you and I, ASM gets a lot of stick. If yeah. he wasn't scoring literally all of the team's league goals at the minute, yeah. I'd be more inclined to criticise him, but give the bloke a break. I agree. I agree. We're, t- we're hashtag Team Alan. 
Team Alan. I think that just about does it for this week. I think it might. Thank you so much to you. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please like them. Please subscribe to the channel. Me and Charlotte will be back next week with more of this. Bye.